In the fitness industry, there's all kinds of supplements that we can take, but today I'm gonna to go over the top supplements you should have. The first one that I can't stress enough of is magnesium and or magnesium glycinate. Now remember, there's a lot of different types of magnesium. You have citrate, which is like a stool softener, glycinate, which actually helps with sleep and cognitive brain function. Then you also have theanate, which is supposed to be the blood brain barrier breakthrough, but I haven't really noticed any big differences in it. So I'll give you the ones that I have messed with for multiple years, and that's magnesium glycinate. Now what are the big things that magnesium glycinate does? One, AIDS, and sleep, okay? So magnesium, if you're deficient in it, and this is something we're gonna write on the board before we get done with this video, four out of five people are de deficient in magnesium, meaning that all this stuff that I'm listing, if you have some of these issues, magnesium could be your issue. But I think magnesium combined with glycinate helps out the most. But aids in sleep. So if you're having trouble sleeping, magnesium could be the corporate issue. The next thing is it helps with insulin function. What does that mean? Type two diabetics, people that eat a lot of carbohydrates, the, the magnesium glycinate will actually help the function of your insulin to the muscle cell. So I have noticed a huge difference in how much leaner I get with how many carbs I take in based on the magnesium. The other thing that magnesium has a huge component of, especially if you're deficient, it helps over 300 other functions in the body. That makes it an essential part of what you do, but like I said, Four out of five people have a deficiency in it, meaning that 80% of you watching this might have a magnesium deficiency and this could be an issue. The next big supplement that I think is a must for most of us, especially in the United States, is fish oil. Fish oil omega-3 is gonna reduce inflammation, repair after damage from exercise, but also just a normal shitty diet that most of us have. The big thing is, is that omega-3 fish oil, our bodies cannot be manufactured must be ingested, meaning that a lot of us are deficient in the amount of fish and type of stuff that has omega-3 and fish oils in it. Therefore, it gives us already a deficiency probably right off the gun. But the thing that it's gonna do, it's gonna reduce our recovery time from working out, and it's also gonna increase our gut health, which is huge because we are what we absorb, not necessarily what we eat. So if our gut health's better with our fish oil, it's gonna help us absorb the proteins better, it's gonna help us utilize good fats better, and it's gonna help us with our carbohydrate ingestion as well. So as you can see, fish oil is huge. Curcumin is another one of those huge supplements that I think is very important due to its anti-inflammatory properties. So if you're suffering from osteoporosis, joint pain, any of those types of things, curcumin might be a good bet for you. But in the performance sector, curcumin is a ginger family. It's an ancient spice. It's made from a turmeric root. It increases joint health, immune system, cognitive function and heart health. So what I've noticed with curcumin is if you reduce inflammation, which most of these supplements we're talking about today do, fish oil and curcumin especially, that you're actually gonna make better hormones. So when you have a high inflammatory body, as far as eating bad foods, um, those types of things, your body's not going to make very, very good hormones. Case in point, why we have low T, in my opinion, why we have low testosterone in a lot of the population now, especially in the male population, is because we're so inflamed, we carry so much body fat, and we eat so many of the wrong foods. Curcumin can lower that inflammation and help you make better uh, hormones as far as testosterone and anabolic hormones are concerned and reduce body fat. But I think it was originally found in the West due to joint health. So people having knee pain, elbow pain, shoulder pain. A lot of that can come from inflammation. I've actually had clients that we put on curcumin because their hands start to get a lot of, get arthritic and start to ache. They go on curcumin, it goes away. So it's a really healthy, natural anti-inflammatory. So if you're popping a lot of Advil and a lot of Tylenol to go work out or just function through the day, you might try some curcumin in your diet and see if that helps. So you've seen a lot of the key supplements that we're taking and they don't really talk on the surface about performance enhancement, but in reality, it's your health that allows you to have performance enhancement for long periods of time. Remember, we talk about this all the time. Person that stays in the game the longest is the one that gets the strongest. So we went over magnesium and how it helps. We went over fish oil and how it helps and curcumin as well. Just notice, like I said, there's not a lot of stuff on the performance 
into things, but this turns into performance. If you feel better, if you function better, and you have less pain, you're gonna be able to perform longer, and that's what these three supplements are made to help you with.